Hello, boys and girls. My name is Mrs. Paley, and I am the school community facilitator for both Berlin and Kaiser Elementaries. And today I am going to read to you a book um, by an author named Jorge Argueta. Um, and, but before I talk to you, uh, before I read the book to you, I wanted to share a couple of things. Um, Jorge Argueta was born and raised in a country called El Salvador. And then later on, he became, he came to the United States. He now lives in San Francisco. He's written many children's books. A lot of them are poetry. And he's won many awards for the books that he has written. So I'm really proud of him, you know. The other, um, the other thing that I was going to mention is that I was born in a country right next to Jorge's country. I was born and raised in a country named Nicaragua. And I wanted to show you guys. So here is a map. And as you can tell here, so here we are in the United States. Um, we know that we to the south, we have our neighbor Mexico. And then there's this little skinny piece of land that connects North America to South America. This little land right here is called Central America. And this is where both Mr. Argueta and Mrs. Paley come from. Um, and let me show you in, in a Zoom picture, a little bit closer, this is Central America. So perhaps you have heard of Guatemala, Belize, Honduras, here tiny as El Salvador, where Mr. Argueta came from. Here in Nicaragua is where Mrs. Bailey was born and raised. And um, uh, Costa Rica and then Panama. Perhaps you've heard of the Panama Canal. So this little piece of land right here, anybody who was born and raised in this piece of land speaks Spanish. So it is possible that a lot of your friends at school who come from Central America speak Spanish just like people born in Mexico and people born in South America. So the name of the book is Guacamole. And before we read, I wanted to show you this. I'm sure you know this is an avocado. It was also at one time called alligator pear because it looks like a pear, but it has kind of like an alligator skin. And these little guys are natives of Mexico and Central America. So Mexico and Central America are way before the Spaniards came over to the New World. Um, the, uh, the Aztecs were um, growing and using avocados and making guacamole. And in fact, guacamole in their native language means avocado juice. So very interesting little fact. And um, Nowadays, it's very well known. We all, during Super Bowl parties, we have guacamole with chips and we love it, but it, um, but it wasn't, avocados and guacamole wasn't, weren't very well known in the United States until the 20th century. So they're fairly new and of course now we love it. So let's start reading Guacamole by, by Jorge Argueta and it's illustrated by Margarita Sada. There it is. The illustrations are very bright and colorful. And here we go. Today, I am going to make you guacamole. I say to my mother and father and my little brother and sister. They stare at me with their big eyes. That remind me of the green avocados in the basket on the red kitchen table. So there they are in the little house. And inside an avocado, that would be fun, huh? Make delicious guacamole that will leave your mother and father and your little brother and sister begging for more. You need four big avocados, like green precious stones, and two fresh lines, big shiny ones, round as crystal marbles. You need some cilantro leaves, green as a four leaf clover. You need salt, and that is all. Very simple to make. First, put on your chef's apron. Mine has balloons on it. With my apron and its balloons and, and little bird, I feel like a great chef. And I am one as I sing and dance around the kitchen. Guacamole is so easy to make. How fun. Then I get my favorite dish. 
It's decorated with a garland of little red flowers and green leaves shaped like hearts. I feel like dancing, so I dance with my dish with its little red flowers and heart-shaped green leaves. The avocados are waiting for me. See, the illustrations are really bright and pretty. The avocados are waiting for me, so big and green and beautiful. I squeeze them gently with my hands and I can tell that they're soft and ripe with their shiny tender skin like leaves in my garden after the rain. I wash them in the fountain of the sink and then dancing and singing, I put them on the red kitchen table. Oh, look how fun this is. Now it's time to cut the avocados. And you probably would want to have an adult helping you out for that little part. One by one, very slowly cut them in half. In the center of each avocado, you'll find a little ball round as a small world. It's smooth and slippery, like a slide. If you grab this pit too hard, it will slip. If you hold it too gently, it will fall. Don't throw the pits out. They are the seeds from which avocado trees are born. That looks like a lot of fun, sliding on an avocado pit. Take a spoon, not too big, not too small. The spoon is like a tractor that you will use to scrape the avocado flesh. Scoop out all the tender flesh of all the four avocados. Put the green avocado flesh in your dish. The empty avocado skins look like wash bowls. Don't throw them out. Set them aside with the pits. Now add salt, not too much. Sing to the salt and you, as you shake it so that little spatters of white drizzle fall like rain on the green avocado. Salt, salty salt from my salt shaker. Salt goes in first. Now with your tractor spoon, stir up the green avocado flesh. Move your spoon up and down. The avocado is getting softer. It's becoming guacamole. Isn't that fun? Look at them in the sink. Take a little branch of cilantro and wash it in the fountain of your sink. It looks like a little tree. Wash it well, shake it off, and sprinkle water around the kitchen. Tear the leaves off your tree one by one and add them to the avocado. Mmm, cilantro smells so good. Mmm, such a fresh, such a green smell. Look how bright and colorful those illustrations are. Now take the limes, which are also green and perfectly round. Take them over to breathe in the kitchen fountain, to base. Take them over to base, I'm sorry, in the kitchen fountain. Cut the limes in half. Again, maybe an adult should help you with that one. Cut the limes in half carefully one by one. You're going to squeeze them with your hands over the avocado waiting in its dish. So soft, such a fresh smell, such a greeny green smell. Their sour little lime smell makes my mouth water. Oh boy, look at that. Wouldn't that be fun? The lime peel is soft and juicy juice comes out. Don't get it in your eyes. It stinks. The juice that comes like tears from the limes. Ooh, the sour river of lime smells so good as it falls on the greeny green of the avocado. I laugh, I laugh river laughs. I laugh green laughs. I laugh lime laughs. I laugh guacamole laughs. Little pearls that look like eyes will fall from your hands. They are lime seeds. Pick out the little pearls that fall into the avocado with your fingers. Don't throw them away. Lime trees could grow from them. Don't throw the peels out either. In your hands, they feel like balls whose air has leaked out. Put them with the seeds and the avocado skins. Stir everything together 
again, up and down with your tractor spoon. Stir it well, taste it, sprinkle on more salt and stir and stir and stir around and around. Sing and dance because food tastes better when you sing and dance. Yummy, what yummy guacamole. Now everything is green and juicy in its dish with red flowers and green leaves like hearts. Now the guacamole is ready. Before you sit down to eat, take all the seeds and skins and peels into the garden. Plant them in Mother Earth so that more avocados will grow, more lime trees, more colors, more flavors. Now the time has come to call your mother and father and your little brother and sister to heat up the beans and tortillas to sit down and enjoy the guacamole that tastes so fresh. Yummy guacamole, so greeny green, as pure as love. And that's the end of guacamole. So now you're all experts in how to make guacamole and you can treat your family to it. And it's been a pleasure reading to you. Bye-bye. Hasta luego.